Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this concept non-isolated essential singularity. So there are three words so we will discuss their meanings one by one. Singularity concept we have already seen. It is a point where function is not analytic. Generally we say if the denominator at that point is zero then function is not analytic at that point and it is a singularity right. This part we have already seen in our second video non-isolated so there are two types of singularities isolated and non-isolated if singular points are distinct distincts and away from each other then we say isolated singularities and if singular points are very close to each other we cannot distinguish them we cannot make them separate then we call them as non-isolated singularity so it is one type of non-isolated singularity that is non-isolated essential singularity. Okay, let us discuss its definition. So suppose we have a sequence of singular points. Okay, so if if z1, z2, z3 and so on, zn and so on. So we have a sequence. Okay, infinitely many singular points we have z1, z2, z3, zn and so on are singular points of f of z okay so these are singular points of f of z and this sequence converges to some point z naught okay then z naught is called non isolated essential singularity okay it means this is suppose z plane we have a sequence of singular points z1 z2 z3 z4 z5 z6 and so on and all these singular points this sequence converges to a single point z0 okay all these points are moving towards a single point z0 then z0 is called as non-isolated essential singularity okay we are going to uh, going to discuss one example on that so the concept will be clear to you just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us discuss this example what is the function we have sine 1 by z raised to minus 1 so generally when we have a negative power we write in denominator so it means it is 1 upon sine 1 by z so let us find its singularity first then we will talk about non-isolated essential singularity okay singular points that means a point where the function is not analytic generally we say it is a point where the denominator will be zero so uh, here f of z is not analytic f of z is not analytic if that denominator that means sine 1 by z is zero so tell me when we get sine zero sin 0 0 as well as sin pi 0 sin 2 pi 0 sin 3 pi 0 it means that 1 by z will be pi plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi and so on okay so these are the possible values of 1 by z it cannot be 0 we cannot take 0 here since 1 by z is equal to we are writing no? okay it means 1 by z is plus minus n pi n is a natural number but actually we are interested in value of z so that's why i will take reciprocal of both sides so z its reciprocal is z its reciprocal is plus minus 1 upon n pi n belongs to set of natural numbers okay so what will be the singular points so therefore singular points are points are okay so let me write in the bracket for each value of n you will have the singular point if i put n is equal to 1 you will have 1 by pi and minus 1 by pi 1 by pi minus 1 by pi for n is equal to 2 2 by pi minus 2 by pi 3 by pi minus 3 by pi okay uh, i think i should write it's not 1 by pi minus 1 by pi if i put n is equal to 2 1 by 2 pi right 
माइनस वन बाई टू पाई नेक्स्ट वन बाय थ्री पाई माइनस वन बाय थ्री पाई एंड सो ऑन ओके सो यू कैन इजीली सी द डिनोमिनेटर इज इंक्रीजिंग नो इट इज इन दैट नेचुरल नंबर इन टू पाई सो एन गोज टू इन्फिनिटी दैट इट विल गो टू जीरो एंड दिस सिक्वेंस कॉन्वर्जेस टू जीरो ओके इट इज मूविंग टूवर्ड जीरो सो देर फोर देर इज नो मोर स्पेस सो आई एम राइटिंग हियर देर फोर झेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज एन इज ए नॉन आइसोलेटेड इसेंशियल सिंग्युलरिटी getting the point so we found out the points where the function is not an analytic that means we got a singular points but if we got a sequence which is moving towards zero all these points are moving towards zero so that's why zero is non isolated essential singularity okay so in this way we have completed this concept with one example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video